Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how to install Steam Deck OS on any PC. I've got a mini PC here from B-Link, it's a Ryzen 9, has a pretty good GPU in here, and I'm going to be installing Steam Deck OS on here, and you can use this on a laptop or any type of device you want to, but I'll show you how to do it, it's pretty straightforward. So we'll be using this um, B-Link mini PC, it's got a Ryzen 9 in here, it's a, the latest uh, release from uh, B-Link, if you want to check out the Video. I've done a video on this already. You can check my playlist for mini PCs and you'll be able to find it there. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to head over to uh, GitHub and we're going to need to get the Halo ISO so we can create it, so we can install it on this particular mini PC. And I'll show you basically how that's done. Okay, so head over to GitHub and look at the Halo ISO. It's a pretty awesome uh, thing they've done here. It's not an official uh, release. Uh, but basically what they've done is using the recovery image and uh, you can read all this information on the website. So head over there and make sure you read work in progress and things like that. Uh, so you can understand exactly how this works. Get the download and then download Etcher. Once we've got the ISO for Halo ISO and we've got the um, Etcher installed on the system, we're going to open up Etcher here. Uh, you'll need a, a USB flash drive, of course. Uh, 32 gigabyte would be perfectly fine. And uh, I'm just going to quickly install this here. I'm going to be using a SanDisk 32 gig uh, USB flash drive. So first off, what we need to do here is flash from file. And we can choose the Halo ISO here. And I'm going to choose this one and select our USB flash drive. So select target. And you can see SanDisk is right here. Make sure you're using the right USB flash drive because it will erase whatever's on that USB flash drive. Once you're happy, you can click on flash. And this is going to flash all the contents of the Halo ISO onto our USB flash drive. I'll speed this process up. It does take a fair bit of time, so be patient. And once it's done, it should say flash completed. So I've now got this USB flash drive plugged into my little mini PC. I'm going to change the boot order to boot to that USB flash drive. And now I can choose Halo ISO installer or some of the other options available here. So let me go ahead and click on the Halo ISO installer, and this will then start the process. You're gonna see a load of text coming up on the screen. This is pretty normal because this is how it installs. So be patient and let that do its thing. Now, once this is fully loaded in, you will start seeing the operating system uh, boot up here. So we're just gonna let that continue to get it ready. And you should then see uh, this splash screen here. So let it load in, and then we should have some sort of desktop here. So here we are at the desktop. So if we go up to the top left-hand side here, it's going to allow us to choose to install our Steam Deck OS here. And it will open up this little box here, and it will basically say, uh, select the items from the list below. Choose your installation type. So we don't want to exit. We want to push number one here, which is to install Halo ISO version uh, snapshot. And you can see it's a snapshot. So basically it's from a recovery image. And we can choose this one and click OK. Once we click OK, it's going to start the install. And then it's going to choose where we want to install it to, which is our hard drive. Now be super careful here if you've got more than one hard drive because it will erase the data on that drive. Now we know the top one is not our drive because it's 2.0 six gigabytes and we know the second one is sda which is our sandisk usb flash drive so the nvme drive is what's in this little mini pc it's the kingston nvme drive it's a 500 gig uh, nvme i think or it's over 256 gig something like that but we're going to install it onto there now you've got two choices here to choose the installation type whether we want to erase the entire drive and install it freshly on that drive so windows will be gone and all the information will be gone on that drive, or you can install it along the existing operating system. We'll cover that in another video, but I'm just going to go ahead and erase the entire drive and install uh, Steam Deck OS on this uh, NVMe drive on this mini PC here. So once I've got this done and I'm happy, I can click OK. Remember, all of the data will be erased on that drive. It's going to ask you to set up your username and password here and your root password. So go ahead and put all that information in and push continue. Once you've got your root password and your username and password set up, you can move on to the installation part. 
Once that's done, you're going to get a final warning that it's going to erase all the data on that drive. Once you're happy, you can click yes, and it will go ahead and install all of this information onto that actual uh, drive there. So remember, this will erase the operating system and everything else on the system. It will take up to 10 minutes to install. So bear in mind, it's going to take a bit of time. So once that's finished, you will get this message here saying installation finished. You can now click OK and remove your USB flash drive from the device you installed it on. And once you've done this, we can close all this down and shut down uh, the device itself. And that's what we need to do next. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to the bottom here and go to where it says power and restart the PC. So let me go ahead and do that for you. So I'm going to go here, go to the actual start button here. And we can now go to where it says restart. Remember to remove the USB flash drive from the device because we don't want to boot back into that USB again. And it will restart. And you should see something like this select operating system. And we can select the operating system. It will start boot to Steam OS. And we're just going to let this load in. And once this is loaded up, you should get the welcome to select a language. Choose which language you want to use. I'm going to be using English. And once we've got English set, I'm going to move on to the time zone. So I'm going to choose my time zone. There's plenty there to choose from. Now it says no networks found. And again, I can go back and reboot the system and go into the advanced options here. And I can go into one of the other options to try and get my um, internet working on this device. So I'm going to choose this one here with Linux, uh, Halo or ISO. And we're going to boot into this one. Once this loads in, we'll try again. I've restarted. I'm going to choose my time zone. And you can now see I've got my network available here. So I can see it says wired connection, which is OK. And there's a bunch of other Wi-Fi options available to you. I'm going to let this shut down and restart one more time because that's what it wants me to do. And once this is done, we should be good to go and we should be at the desktop here. So let's go ahead and choose now the advanced options for Steam OS again. And this will be the last time we have to choose this option. So let's go ahead and go back down to the Steam OS with Linux Halo ISO. We're going to choose this one. And this time it should load straight in, as you'll see right here, because we've now got our settings. So now we need to sign in. And this is going to be your Steam account you have to sign into unless you want to create a new one. But we're going to uh, sign into my Steam account. And once you've done that, you should be able to sign into your account with all your games so you can then start playing your games on your PC. And of course, these will play a lot better on these uh, mini PCs because this is designed for Steam Deck OS, which means it should be able to play these a lot better than what you had before. If you want to see how these play and how these fare with this mini machine, then check out another video which I'll make tomorrow and you'll be able to see how it works. But this is just basically how to get up and running and install uh, Steam Deck OS on any PC. Very straightforward and easy to do. This gives you full access to all the menu and everything else. And this just acts as it would before on Steam Deck OS. You would be able to go in here and go into your settings and you'll have access to all of your settings on this device. You can set up a controller or you can play with keyboard and mouse, depending on what you want to do. You get full control of everything inside here. Pretty awesome, if you ask me. Anyway, let me know in the comments section below whether you want to see another one of these videos where it's uh, playing actual games. This is a game that I'm just playing on here. Pretty simple and easy game to play. But if you want to see more complex games with this little mini PC or other devices, let me know in the comments section below. I'll be happy to make that video for you. You now know how to install it. All you need to do is find yourself a device to install it onto, which is capable of playing games of your choice. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on my Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.